So I'm in Iceland right now. Just got my rental car and I'm on the way to the cottage. I wasn't filming uh, the journey here to Iceland because uh, I find it boring. We've all seen enough airplanes, enough airports, enough buses. So that's the first first footage from Iceland. Heading towards the cottage now and then I show you guys around. Uh, probably have to do some groceries on the way there to get some food. And then I'm going to show you around in the cottage. Just arrived here in the cottage and it's exactly the way I pictured it. It's small, it's cozy, only the necessities, only the most important things, not too much space. And I'm going to show you around. I mean, that's probably going to be the quickest room tour I've ever done. The bedroom, small, cozy. Bathroom, same. Living room and the kitchen tried to work on my sleep sleep cycle since it's lately getting a little bit out of line like 3 a.m 4 a.m 5 a.m i mean 3 a.m wouldn't be so bad but like 5 a.m is definitely too late try to at least get in like midnight 1 a.m maybe 2 a.m getting up at 11 12 10 a.m in that kind of region it would be ideal um, enough talk about my sleep rhythm so gonna cook me some food I already had a, a huge fail today in uh, one of the grocery stores. Uh, I forgot the name. Costco. Costco. It says Costco. Um, you need a card to enter or you need to be registered. You need to pay a yearly fee and they control or they screen whether you are uh, a member or not so you have to be a member in order to to enter the store however they didn't screen me so i just walked in probably i looked so con self-confident i don't know maybe they assumed i'm from i'm living in in iceland i don't know am i looking iceland icelandish so i walked in nobody was screening me and i was doing my groceries and this this the supermarket this it's it's like a hanger, it's like a super large hanger. And it took me so long to get all my stuff. Like, I don't know, it was, it was quite some time. And then I went to the drugstore and I just bought some, some painkillers. And he told me, do you have a card? Are you a member? I'm like, no, I, I'm not. He said, well, all right, I can still say you the painkillers. And I'm wondering, well, if I don't have the card, can I still purchase my groceries? Can I still pay them? He said, no, you have to be a member. And you also have to live in Iceland. Like you need to have a registered address here. And since I'm only here for vacation, I'm not gonna sign up for, uh, or I'm not even able to sign up. So long story short, I went to one of their um, employees and asked them and he said, no, you can't buy the stuff, um, nothing we can do. So I went out, had to go to another grocery stores and yeah. And now this night, first night, basically unpacking and gonna plan a little bit the next days. How do I wanna structure my morning routine? What do I want to do first thing in the morning? What do I wanna do um, in the afternoon? Um, I, I don't wanna plan everything, but I wanna set some tasks that I'm gonna do every single day, no matter what. Uh, which means I definitely wanna do an hour of meditation in the morning, one hour of meditation in the evening. I wanna go for a swim. If it's doable, if I feel like it's too dangerous or there are certain risks, I'm not gonna do it. I guess the shower here is gonna be cold enough as well. Um, yeah, um, these are the things I really want to do. Um, cooking uh, twice a day, um, journaling, reading, and uh, working out every day. I want to work out, stretching. I mean, that's I have the entire day time for that. And um, no social media, um, no email. It's basically nothing to do with work. So I'm just here with myself and seeing what, what happens when you basically dedicate your entire attention just for yourself, for your health, for your, for your thoughts, for your goals, whatever it is, you know, thinking about the people in your lives and what kind of people you want to attract in your lives. And so far as it has served me very well, it always guaranteed that I stay on track, that I don't get lost. And it's very hard on a, 
in, a, in these days where you have so many distractions on a day-to-day -day basis to really stay centered and focus and to find out for yourself what you actually want in life or what you don't want, what's going wrong. Very often we slip into those bad habits or those toxic people are slipping into our lives and we're sometimes not so big, uh, not so good in, in detecting it and very often then it's too late. And once a, a bad habit is, is built, it's really hard to get rid of this bad habit. So this kind of think week once or twice a year really allows me to 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 basically turn every stone around around and uh, I can assess for myself. All right. Is this something I want to keep it the way it is or is it something I want to change very often? I also identify things that are actually going well in my life that I actually never perceived as going well small things because you you see them as 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 granted right um let it be your nutrition let it be your friends relationships and i realized fuck i actually have um amazing friends i have i have a family that is healthy and, and very often these things we, we take for granted we forget and then you start valuing them you start appreciating them more and you come back with with a much higher level of energy so enough talk for today i'm going to now start cooking i'm going to start planning the next days a little bit i show you tomorrow around a little bit the area how it looks from the outside with daylight um, maybe we go down together and make some friends with the, with the with the um with the seals maybe i go and for a swim we'll see how how that goes and then good night and see you tomorrow this is the view from my terrace I mean, I don't know what to say, to be honest. This just makes me speechless. And the tiny cottage from the outside. Barbecue, which, yeah, I could grill my vegetables on it, but I don't think I'm going to use it a lot. So there's three, uh, two more cottages. I was already... <laughs> I was already hesitating. Um, I was hesitating already when I was inside, but it was still warm. Now you come here outside, and it's just so freaking cold. Already taking off my clothes is going to be such a pain in the ass. Let's do this. But apart from that, and I think there's some donkeys up there. They have donkeys here. We love donkeys. We're fish. And we have donkeys. <laughs> I can practice my my sharpness for identifying fish and donkeys. All right, <clears throat> the path to the cold. There, in the back, that's where the where the landlord lives. They're quite friendly. He also invited me, he's brewing his own beer. He invited me uh, invited me to have some beer. But I don't know yet. Because I'm not here to drink alcohol, of course. I also want to be very strict with my diet. Basically just vegetables, fruits, seeds, nuts. <sighs> Honestly, I'm shitting a little bit my pants. But it's gonna be alright. This is the beach. I'm gonna have a beach day today. Unfortunately I forgot my umbrella but I don't think I'm gonna get a sunburn here. Alright so let's see. Let's see how freaking cold it is. Oh we got a, got a jellyfish over here. Oh fuck. Why would I do that? Colder than expected. All right, let's go for a swim. Oh, there's someone, someone visiting. So, now let's do this. Now it's getting serious. We did it. Uh, 
yeah, as expected, extremely cold, especially on the legs and on the feet. Oh, my feet hurt so much. They were pretty much numb after I came out and then on all these rocks, stepping on all these rocks, I felt like walking on, for walking on broken glass. However, it feels incredible now. Super fresh, super awake. Uh, I was very careful, as you've seen, uh, because I don't know how fast um, it gets deeper. So, yeah, and since it's my first time swimming here in the sea, I want to do it step by step and, uh, of course, respect the nature. And surprisingly, the seals are, they came quite close. The further I went into, the, the closer they came. I don't know if it's, if they're, I don't know, just curious or maybe, I couldn't really tell whether they might have been baby seals and they just tried to protect the area. I don't know. I'm just a stupid European. So all you can do is uh, show respect, be careful. Rather be a little bit over careful when I'm here alone. So in case something happens, it's GG. And our cottage is over there. Yeah, the landlord wants to come by or wants to stop by later as well. Um, because I have some problems with the water. Uh, it smells a bit. But they said it's due to the... Uh, I missed the word. This uh, chemical that, especially in volcano areas, appears quite frequently. Uh, in German we say Schwefel. If you want to know what I mean, S-C-H-W-E-F-E-L, you can translate it into English or your, the language you want to, you want to know what it means. we will do a workout, gonna do some meditations from Dr. Joe Disperenza. I just recently read his book, one of the best books I've ever read. And he has some really cool meditations as well. Some visualization exercises heart meditations, breathing meditations, and uh, they're supposed to be very, yeah, very much healing. Healing in terms of whatever is holding you back, bad habits, tragedies from the past, bad experiences, whatever it is that you feel like uh, causes bad habits in your life or causes weird behaviors in certain situations. And uh, of course, we all, have, we all have them. We all had a childhood where we got uh, influenced by situations or people or bad people or, yeah, and that follows us for the rest of the life. And if you wonder why you wanna, or when you wanna accomplish something, and you know there's something good for you. Say you want to lose weight, but you you're simply not being a, a, you're not able to sustain a routines and habits that will provide you a healthier lifestyle. And you always fall back into old habits, or whatever it is, can be everything. You're getting easily aggressive, or I don't know. It very often has to do something with something from the past, and. It doesn't mean that it has to follow you for the rest of the life. <clears throat> so I highly recommend you, if you're interested about this topic, this book from Dr. Joe Disperenza. It's very good and uh, serves as a very, very good introduction into uh, this kind of topic. So check it out. Also funny enough, when you come out of the cold water, uh, once I took off my clothes, so before, I, went into the cold water, it was cold as fuck. But when you come out, your body is so used to the cold and it's adapting so quick that you're not freezing at all. I could stand there in underwear, all wet, and I was not freezing at all. So that's, the, the more you practice it, the more often you take cold showers as well. 
the easier and the faster, faster your body adapts. So usually, the more often you do it, the easier it will become. Of course, at the beginning it's always quite painful, but it will get better, don't worry. Just finished my workout. Now it's time for some dinner. Going to cut me some vegetables, asparagus, uh, potatoes as well. And it's going to be a, a vegetable soup. And then enjoy the rest of the evening. Probably meditate, read, and then go to bed. See you later. Day two and it started snowing a bit. Now I'm gonna do my Wim Hof um, breathing method which which helps you to expose yourself to the cold um, because you basically you you pump more oxygen into your body and this helps you to regulate your body temperature way better um, and I do it especially when I expose myself to to an extreme like the weather conditions we have here where it's really really cold I've got my hair so it i don't know i i've read that quite a lot that you your body usually for example you can't sleep ahead so let's say when you know the next couple of days you have to work more often and you're probably gonna get less sleep you can't prepare your body for that by sleeping longer um you need the same amount of sleep every single day or roughly the same amount of sleep however for me when i sleep a couple of days just like six seven hours for sure the fourth or fifth day I can sleep 12 hours I don't know and if I get up at nine hours I still feel completely destroyed so there has to be one day where I basically make up for all the lack of sleep I have had the um, the previous days I don't know it's weird but it is how it is and I feel like I'm catching up a lot of sleep now uh, which is good like yesterday I slept 12 hours I think and I felt completely destroyed and I know it's not good to sleep more than 9 hours Today I think I slept 10 to 11 hours and I feel insanely good And I tomorrow I go for 9 hours and then try to go back to my normal sleep uh, Sleep rhythm So however, however um, After getting up I usually do my meditation here right away um, I do a very very strict morning routine which I usually don't do at home like at home I also have a strict morning routine but not to an extent as I do it here which means I I get up I drink a glass of lemon water I meditate I do my journal I make the bed I come here to do my um, my Wim Hof breathing techniques which I usually don't do at home and then I will go for a swim and then I will then it depends how I feel. Uh, I might do a workout or might read a bit, review a bit from my books or um, maybe go for a walk outside or yeah, we'll see. I mean, I don't have so many options, but that's all right. I just, I don't want to, you know, spend time on my phone or my laptop. So usually activities where I have to occupy myself with my own thoughts or yeah, just do some physical activities. And I just want to share how this um, yeah, breathing method works. It goes in a three plus one cycle, so a total four. Three cycles, just breathing, 40, like 30 to 50 repetitions, then holding the breath as long as you can, taking one deep breath, holding your breath for another 15 seconds, and then the first round is completed, and then you do it three more rounds, and in total, Four, so, so the fourth round is basically the same 30 to 50 um, rounds of, of um, inhaling very deep and then exhaling and after the fourth round you hold the breath and then you do as many push-ups as you can while holding your breath and you will be surprised you're very likely going to do way more push-ups than you would normally do so I'm going to do that now and I'm going to show you how it works and you will also have very very good retention times um, as if you would just start out, the, out of the cold maybe take a few deep breaths and then you hold your breath and you get better and better and better and I think my personal record was three minutes and 30 seconds holding my breath without any problem take some practice and it actually happened quite fast not years of training I think a couple of exercise it also depends on your 
what I figured out is that the more I eat before this practice, the worse my retention time. If I get up and on an empty stomach I do this exercise, my retention times are much better. I eat more often reach the three minute mark. Whereas when I have a full breakfast and I do it afterwards, I very often don't even reach the two minutes. So here you can see how also food is or digestion takes energy away from you. Now, I, I had a protein shake, but that's it. Um, my stomach is rather empty, so I hope I will at least reach the two minute mark. I haven't been doing these uh, breathing techniques for a while. I started yesterday now and yeah, I hope I hope I will reach some decent times and then afterwards I will go for a swim. All right. <clears throat> so those were the four rounds of the breathing technique. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes. So it doesn't take so long. And when you do the push-ups, so it's always important when you do your 30 to 50 rounds of of breathing, breathing, that you the last the last inhale and the last exhalation that you don't inhale and then you stop and then you hold your breath or you do the push-ups, you always exhale and then you you hold the breath for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, depends on how long you you can make it. And for the push-ups, you then well, <laughs> for the push-ups, you also do the same. If you go for 30 repetitions, then I mean breathing. You inhale and then last one you exhale and then you do your push-ups as many as you can and you will also run out of breath of course and then you can of course at some point start breathing again that's at least how I do it and then you try to do as many as you can I reach 2 minutes and 33 seconds for holding my breath that's alright despite the fact or given the fact that I haven't been doing this now for many months I started yesterday so it's basically my second my second practice now for, for quite some time, so that's decent. And uh, push-ups I did, I think, 36. I usually, I usually do between 25 and 30, so uh, that's a significant uh, increase in push-ups, just because of doing the, the breathing technique before. And now I'm getting ready to go for a swim and it looks fucking cold outside so today we got a bit of snow and this scenery is just mind-blowing this is priceless waking up like this every morning and enjoying this view So yeah, I'm gonna go now for for a walk <clears throat> to simply just discover a bit the um, the environment here or the surrounding surrounding the area. That's what I meant. Checking out a bit the area um, because in the next couple of days I also want to go for a run. So to see where I can run because if you go for a run, I don't want like going there and then have to turn around and making up my route because it's really hard to navigate with Google Maps here for obvious reasons and yeah and taking some pictures taking some footage and also doing a, a walking meditation and then afterwards when I come back I will go in there coming here 
But I don't have food for you guys, unfortunately. The three musketeers. So yeah, here I am. In the middle of nowhere. Nobody with me. Maybe a few foxes and horses. And that's pretty much it. Here we go again. Never miss an ice bath. And today it's the coldest. Battery died again. So anyway, there's no technique, no strategy for going through hardship. You basically just have to push through. You have to have an incredible mindset. You have to have a strong will. Have to have a strong willpower. And this doesn't come from any kind of you know crazy strategies or techniques. You have to train your willpower. And once in a while, doing something like this can really help you to to maintain a stronger mindset and really push through, especially when when things are not going your way. So don't always try to rely on any kind of magical willpowers or courses, strategies or whatever. This is something you have to train yourself and there's nobody that can teach you how you just have to do it. You just have to go out and simply start doing stuff like that. And then it's going to be going to be boosting your mindset quite a lot. Nom nom nom. Porridge with grapes. Very simple food, but it does its job. Um, getting ready to leave for the Blue Lagoon in about 30 minutes. And it's gonna be around one hour, one and a half hours driving there. I'm not sure how much footage I can make because in the email with some instruction they sent me that especially in the spa area, there's no phones, no um, cameras or any kind of devices uh, allowed to guarantee maximum relaxation, which I understand. Blue Lagoon, let's go, we're coming. We, not just me actually. But uh, last peek onto this amazing landscape, our cottage. Time to go in. We're here, finally. It's very pretty, and especially the difference between between the outside and the inside temperature makes it very pleasant to experience. And um, yeah, this is my my changing room. So they have two areas. One area is the Blue Lagoon Spa, where you have a bit more, um, um, how would say like saunas and relaxing areas and then you have the main lagoon um, usually it's not allowed to film in there so i would just take my gopro and film in areas where there are no people and, and maybe taking some pictures here and there but i won't be able to walk around oh this is this area oh this is that area that's not going to work out and of course we're going to respect that and yeah still try to Give you guys some sort of um, insights or not insights but like an um, impression of the atmosphere and of the scenery here especially the scenery is, is, is mind-blowing so yeah bear with me that I can't walk around and just take pictures left and right or videos so but I think you will still get a good impression of, of the the blue lagoon It's not as strong as it is in, uh, in my college. 
My girlfriend said it's, it smells like bad eggs. That's actually true. If you ever smelled bad eggs, that's how it smells. No, I don't have a sunburn. I just got all sorts of different kind of creams and oils on my face and on my body and supposed to be nourishing and moisturing the, the skin and frankly it feels quite good I feel quite vitalized and um, hello placebo no but for you it feels good uh, I don't feel dry at all usually my skin feels kind of dry and they put some sort of um, cream or yeah, cream on the face that is made of algae and yeah, all these natural stuff here from Iceland. <laughs> it feels good, I'm alright. And uh, now I'm getting dressing up, ready to leave. I think I stayed now here for almost five hours. Maybe I can get, still get some dinner here in the restaurant. It's already 9.15 and definitely enjoyed the time here. It was a great experience, and then I'm heading back to the college. Time for dinner. Actually, they so told me it's already closed, but they were so kind to give me some food. Got shrimps, aubergine, corn. Decent dinner, I would say. Fits into my diet, for sure. Day five or day six, I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's gorgeous weather, weather outside. So I decided I will go for a run. It's even a bit sunny. It's very windy though. Gonna for, gonna go for uh, five kilometers. Probably gonna be somewhere between 23 and 25 minutes. Depends on uh, depends on the conditions, the wind, inclination, and so on and so forth. Really looking really looking forward actually because um, I enjoy running in, in the nature like this. Try to exhaust myself, then come back, we'll do groceries. And actually this morning I had a, I had a rough time getting up, I don't know, I felt I was still somewhere in a, in a dream wonderland. Maybe it was too, too relaxing yesterday in the Blue Lagoon, which actually really was. So anyway, I did my meditation, I did my breathing exercise, and now I feel ready to, to climb up the mountain conquer the mountain and get in a good time for the five kilometers um, of course not as fast as the guy that was running the uh, the marathon in under two hours I mean this guy is, is an alien um, but yeah I to I try to go uh, for my pace and as long as I'm exhausted and I feel challenged that's good all right guys finish my run now off to the sea, going for a swim, meeting my friends, the seals, having a chat, asking them how their how their day went. Oh my god, you must think I'm, I'm going crazy here in the loneliness and already start talking to the animals. But honestly, it's I'm missing home. I'm missing, uh, you know, the environment that I'm usually in. My girlfriend, my friends my team, the work, the community, it's, I think when you enjoy, uh, when you, when you enjoy what you're doing then, and if you're alone of course at some point you're gonna miss it, but it makes you also more appreciate what you do, it makes you more appreciate the people you have in life, so yeah it's a good thing. Because very often we forget what we have. But when you expose yourself to the other side of what you have, so let's say you have amazing friends and you have an amazing environment, and then you expose yourself to the other end of the spectrum, which would be being alone, then you actually see what you have. And for poker players that struggle, that don't really enjoy what they're doing, I often recommend them do it just go work somewhere for one week in a shitty job at a cashier or whatever it is um, <clears throat> cleaning trash bins cleaning toilets do it for a couple of days you'll be so happy to play poker again believe me and um, before I started playing poker I did exactly that I was working at a cashier for three months 
and that was the same time where I started poker and I realized I never want to do a job like this so and you don't need to do it over and over again because once you did it you realize fuck it's actually amazing and you should appreciate having it so you don't need to work once in a month in a shitty job just to appreciate what you have uh, or appreciate that you play poker especially for those who play poker full-time I, I really can't understand how they cannot appreciate what they have so many people would be so happy playing poker full-time and those who can afford it or are good enough to make a living out of it and then still can't appreciate because they don't know what to do with all their free time honestly then I, I don't know how, what's going on because yes this can happen sometimes we feel lost and we feel miserable and that's all right but there's always something you can do about it and some practical tip says hey you know and just go for a couple of days somewhere work in a shitty job and you see that you actually have an amazing life and of course there's more more than that you know more to be happy be fulfilled having amazing friends having amazing relationships but this is uh, a different topic and you can also work on that <laughs> but when it comes to feeling lost in poker or feeling miserable or not having the drive anymore then of course something you can do about it and yeah if you are already playing poker for seven eight years and you slowly feel exhausted and you would like to do something else then simply do it just grind day in day out same as I did I started coaching people I started building my own website I started you know slowly building Raise Your Edge started in 2013 where my business partner back then and I wanted to start this together together and yeah we just on the side I had another project and I think you have enough free time um, to start other projects as well so especially when you play full-time and you feel miserable and you would like to do something else and you're actually not doing it this is stupid because as a poker player when you are a pro player you can you can easily afford um, yeah taking some hours in a week to spend on other projects to get this drive back to to learn something new to get this fire to grow in, in other areas right ah here we go, the seals. Oh, they're very close to the to the coast today. Oh, so many actually. I want to take a picture with my new friends. <laughs> Not sure if they see me as a friend though. But they're very curious. They're very curious animals. All right, so what's our spot for today? Ah, let's go here. Let's go here. Beautiful weather today, sunny and a little bit warmer today. I think it's four or five degrees. Um, so last day today, I'm gonna go say goodbye to the seals. I'm gonna miss them. Going for a last swim with them. And honestly, seven days is enough. It's it's good, especially the first four days. I would say were really good, but then yesterday I started I started missing 
home and I want to leave not because it's not I don't like it here I don't enjoy it but simply I miss the work I, I miss the environment I miss <coughs> I miss my girlfriend and yeah I just I just miss interacting with people you know it's yeah being lonely for for a very long time isn't what 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 would suit me to be honest but yeah it's a great experience of course and sometimes putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation isn't so pleasant and um, also going in the cold water it's not that I'm yay now let's go swim in uh, I don't know four degree cold water it's not like this because yeah there is no because but it's simply not so so pleasant it's it's pleasant afterwards the reward and this way I can um, <clears throat> put myself in this uncomfortable situation or in this unpleasant situation because the reward afterwards of feeling great and feeling fresh and feeling focused and energized is just it's so much more worse than these one or two minutes of pain and also the long-term benefits um, you know this one minute of cold showering every day I think I literally skip maybe three or four days a year when I really take a day off and I just chill and I do, I do anything where I don't need to be energized so I don't need to be focused but um, <clears throat> but literally just days where I'm gonna stay in bed you know like these super lazy days but apart from that I take a cold shower every single fucking day and then once a week I also take an ice bath at home where I put ice cubes in the, in the bathtub and I haven't been sick for I mean like really sick like here and there like a little you know that your nose is a bit um, stricken or a bit of coughing but I can still work I can still do all my shit um, and even if I think three years or four years ago there was two three days where I came back from Las Vegas and due to the ACs over there I had to stay in bed for one day <clears throat> and I didn't feel so well but apart from that I've never been sick now for many many years I don't I don't I can't even remember where I was lying in bed three consecutive days in a row um, even when I and the, the funny thing is you have this feeling you start feeling that your throat is getting uh, rough and your your nose starts um, flowing much more and yeah you start coughing more often you already know God, you're gonna get sick but now like the same happens to me I would say two three times a year but then the next day it's gone like so I can I can feel that my immune system is so much stronger and is fighting this virus or bacteria whatever it is is fighting it and the next day or maybe at least, uh, maybe two days later it's gone and I believe other people would get sick and those those two three weeks a year where I don't get sick and don't need, need to lie in bed you have an advantage over other people you have an advantage over your competitors that lie in bed and they have to and have to relax and, and heal and take care of themselves whereas you can can uh, work or you can even use these three weeks for high quality time going on vacation meeting friends and yeah so as a German I always try to be very pr pr practical I always try to see every single edge that I can gain and when it means to this one or two minutes a day of putting yourself in these uncomfortable situations I am happily taking it even though I don't really feel at all going into the water especially today maybe you can see it I look like shit my hair looks horrible terrible terrible and uh, oh but the seals are here so at least for the seals I'm pretty enough that's good they like me they like my character you know it's not all about the looks but anyway I just wanted to share with you guys now it's time for me wow it's really high up today there's already the water it was um, way further back way further back <clears throat> and 
Here we go. Our first friend is already here. That was really good. And now, walking back in underwear. Actually, now it doesn't feel so cold. The trick is really to focus on your breath and just stay very present. And not freak out. I think the biggest mistake you can do is to like overventilate, that is even the right word. But like <laughs> and then you just make it worse. So even when you feel the urge to like <laughs> just all you can do is focus on your breath. And your body is strong body and your mind is extremely strong and it can it can regulate its breathing very well actually my skin starts hurting a bit because of the cold but it's all right my body feels good and now we're going back last night and I'm looking for the polar lights today is supposed to be a good day um, only a few clouds and the activity of the polar light is supposed to be rather high today and I'm always looking where are they but so far I couldn't catch one and for the time being I'm just writing reviews on my MacBook from this book um, the ABC of Enlightenment oh I took off the book cover there it is and yeah enjoying the last night Looking forward to fly back tomorrow and yeah I will later give a little recap of yeah what I've learned but I think also along the days already I, I explained to you why I'm doing this the purpose and what I experience here and yeah so I would mostly reiterate myself but if I see something that is very valuable to share then I will share it other than that I will just um, yeah finish the review of this book and uh, enjoy the night, keep an eye on the polar lights, pick a movie or two for the flight tomorrow because it's going to be in total four to five hours or four and a half hours and I fly to Copenhagen and from Copenhagen to Vienna. There were no direct flights so yeah unfortunate but that's all right and I paid 600 euros for this flight. It's really expensive. Good morning Iceland, enjoying the last moments of this beautiful view, this beautiful nature. I'm leaving in about one and a half hours to the airport. Uh, it's simply breathtaking. I'm gonna get in the workout now and some breakfast I already packed yesterday last night so it's not going to be so busy this morning and I got pretty much everything now I'm going to do a workout and meditate and then heading to the airport and back to Vienna already looking forward to Sunday grinding and yeah it was a great experience hope you guys enjoyed it and then see you online at the tables bye bye Iceland Time to go home.